So with part two of the Final Fantasy VII Remake coming out in a little under two weeks as of this recording, I kind of wanted to just share my experience playing the original Final Fantasy VII for the very first time last month. So like many people, I had actually only played the remake. I had wanted to play the original for a while now because of my love for the remake. I mean, what a, what a great game, right? And I also really wanted to see the original story before the rest of the remakes kind of reimagining kicks off with this part two game. But I honestly didn't think it would be worth it, and I wasn't even sure I would enjoy my time in the original, given the game is, you know, pretty old at this point, and I had already experienced the opening hours of the original story and the glory of the remake's graphics. But I have never been so glad to be wrong, because yes, if you're like me and you've never played the original Final Fantasy VII, but are a fan of the world and the characters through the remake, then yes, I would say it is absolutely 100% worth playing here in 2024. Even now, the game is just so full of its own charm and stands apart from the remake in its own right, while of course being you know familiar to those who have played the remake. And even if you're someone who hasn't touched any of the new games and are wondering if Final Fantasy VII is like a great starting point into the Final Fantasy games, and if it still holds up on its own, it absolutely does. So grab a cup of coffee, sit down, and let's talk some Final Fantasy. Okay, so the couple of things I really just wanted to talk about in the reason why I think the original is still worth playing today, and that's because of the story, the music, and its charm. Like, I've never played a game that's like this dated visually and in terms of actual dates that still holds up so, so well in terms of just like it's just fun and it's charming and the characters are like their own characters even without like trying to remove my knowledge from the remake but before we get into that i do want to say as you probably noticed by this point on screen if you played final fantasy 7 might look a little different and that's because as much as i wanted to play the original it just was really dated looking obviously but particularly the character designs i i was like i I don't know if I can look at this playing the whole game. So I found out that there's actually a really easy mod that kind of updates it instead of you're not like this low poly style, looks a little more close to the remake version. And then a different mod that uh, makes the backgrounds 4K because this was made for a much older console in a time where screens were not like 1440p or 4K. So if you're wanting to play this on a monitor, I would highly recommend getting at least the 4K kind of background mod because without it, everything's gonna look kinda like muddy and smeared. And you don't want that because these backgrounds are absolutely gorgeous. And each one, even though I was familiar with the space, was a new experience for me. And if you're interested in either of those mods, it was actually really easy to do. Um, I'll link it down below, but it was through like this like mod manager appropriately named Seventh Heaven. So it was very easy to do. I'll link that below if you're someone who wants to try that out. So on the topic of the kind of art style, it took me a minute to get used to both the art style and the controls with kind of how you move through these 2D spaces. I've never played a game like this before, so it was it was very new to me. Um, but once I was able to get used to it, I really did appreciate it. And I kind of fell in love all over again with this world and its characters because I don't know, I really love the remake. And that's why I wanted to play this game. And the feeling that I got by the end of playing the remake, once I was connected to all these characters, I pretty immediately got and when I started the original game. Now, obviously that's because I was connected to these characters and this world, but I think one thing that really, really differentiates these two, aside from the story, is the music. Now, as much as I love the orchestral, you know, modernized version of all the music in the remakes, there really is just something so special about this original music. The themes for Tifa, Aerith, the opening titles, the battle music, all of that I thought I loved in the new orchestral style, but I found myself listening to in my free time more of the original music, like infinitely more than the remake. And I don't really know why. Um, I think it's more relaxing even in like the hype music. And it just feels like a time of a bygone era sort of thing. And I love the, the music. It's just, it is incredibly relaxing and comforting in a way that the orchestral music isn't from the remake, even like Tifa and Aerith's themes, which are of course like very relaxing piano pieces, but I just, the original music, man, it just, it just, it just hits different. <laughs> and of course, one of the other huge differences is going to be the story. And, you know, we don't know to the extent of what uh, Rebirth is going to change the original game's story, but before I played Rebirth, I wanted to 
experience the original story for two reasons. One, I just wanted to know what the whole story is in its entirety. Obviously, I have a couple things spoiled because the game's been out a very long time. But then I also wanted to be able to kind of compare and appreciate anything that's changed and altered in Rebirth and kind of go ahead and get familiar with some of these characters so I'm not as confused as I was when I played uh the remake because playing the remake with little to no knowledge of the original story or characters it was quite confusing like they are like all these side conversations or side mentions of like things with Cloud and Tifa's past or like Sephiroth and I was like I don't know any of this but now I very much do know and even though I'm not all the way completely done with Final Fantasy 7 original I have learned so much about Cloud and Sephiroth and Tifa and met other people and it's been great and it answered a lot of questions that I had even after finishing the remake and I didn't want to look up everything and get everything spoiled so I didn't do that when I played so even doing like the fall of Nibelheim I did not know any of that and I did that quite recently and um, absolutely loved it I was I was like this is the best and I was so immersed in the story because this story even though Remake kind of has changed the story, the original, the story of Remake itself isn't that different from the original, for the most part. We'll see what Rebirth does, but the story on the whole of the original is just so freaking good and just holds up to this day, which you don't get often in a lot of older games. Even games I really love that I've gone back to replay, I'm like, ah, you know, I love this story when I played it. Uh, it doesn't hold up as much. Like some of the original Halos, like, still great but i'm like it's not as cool as i remembered it being in some aspects or not as like epic and like emotional whatever it may be but i think the reason obviously i'm speaking as someone who only recently played final fantasy 7 so take this with a grain of salt but i think the reason that this game in particular has stood out among the final fantasy franchise is because of how incredible the story is and how well written the characters and everything are into that story and how they all, you know, trying to talk without spoilers, but how they all work and play into the story in different aspects. So we will see how Rebirth kind of shakes things up, but I, you know, I have no doubt that they will honor at least the original material and I'm very excited for Rebirth coming out in less than two weeks. I'm hyped. I got my deluxe edition thingy with the, the, the art book and all that really cool stuff. Um, so if you're looking forward to Rebirth, if you're someone who was contemplating playing Final Fantasy VII prior to Rebirth coming out, depending on when you watch the video, you know, you'll have some time. But if, if it's after Rebirth comes out, I would still strongly encourage you to at least give the game a shot, especially if you can get some of these mods through 7th Heaven. That'll make your experience slightly more modern without taking away the things that really make the original stand out and hold up to this day. So that's all for me. I just wanted to kind of gush about the original and let me know any of your thoughts if you're a Final Fantasy VII OG player or if you're a newbie like me. Um, but let me know down below and I hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you all later.